Has the resurrection merely become sort of an add-on that, that we mention in evangelism, but not something we, we daily value as vital in evangelism and in the Christian life? I mean, when you look at the book of Acts, it reveals that the resurrection was central to the gospel that the apostles preached, right? Acts chapter 17, it describes Paul preaching at Athens, and it says he was preaching what? Jesus and the resurrection. It seems that he could not have preached Jesus without preaching the resurrection. They go together. They must be stated. Similarly, Romans chapter 10 and verse 9, you know, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart, then what? God raised him from the dead. Then you will be saved. Right? So Romans 10, 9 makes belief in the resurrection essential to salvation. Philippians chapter 3 and verse 10, we find the resurrection is really essential to, to sanctification. Romans 10 is similar. But to know to gr- what it means to grow in knowing Jesus. Philippians chapter 3 and verse 10, Christ and the power of His resurrection. Let me just stop and ask you. You ever pray that? You pray and think of the resurrection as as an essential present reality, as a power to know and to grow in? You read through the New Testament and come to passages like 1 Corinthians 15. It's all about the resurrection. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 19 says, Paul stated that if Christ has not been raised, if there is no resurrection, if we've only hoped in this life in Christ, then what does he say? We're of all people most to be pitied. Pitied. In other words, Jesus' resurrection should have such a clear impact on us that people would look at us as pitiful, strange, if eternal life is not real. So our lives should have some daily resurrection effect, you might say. Some impact of our, of our Lord and Savior's resurrection on how we live.